hope you had a fantastic Christmas and are really looking forward to the new year. Because this is the last video of 2018, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of you for watching the videos this year and I really hope that you've enjoyed them. So for this week's video, I really wanted to do a New Year inspired cake for you, which represents seeing in the new year wherever you are in the world. So I'm going to show you how to make this hand-drawn New Year's Eve inspired cake. So we've got the fireworks and we've got landmarks from around the world. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so in order to make my New Year's Eve cake, first of all, I've got my cake. So I've just got a six inch cake here, which is around five and a half inches in high. And I've just gone ahead and covered this in some white icing or fondant. Now I will put a link in the description below to a video showing exactly how I cover my cakes so that you can get to this stage. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my message onto the front. So I'm just gonna have Happy New Year and then 2019 underneath. So in order to add the letters, I thought I would go ahead and use the Sweet Stamps by Amy Cakes. Now you may have seen these in my Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Cake, but if you haven't, I've got the handwritten set here. So I've got the upper case and the lower case. So I'm going to use these for the happy new year. I've then got my tacky pad, which I'm just going to use to push them onto the cake. I've then got this sweet Sam mini message set, and I'm just going to use the numbers from this to create the 2019. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just take out the letters that I'm going to need for the front of the cake. Now there are only one of each letter. So because I will need two P's, two E's and two A's, all I'll do is just leave space for those and then they can be pushed in afterwards. Once you're happy with the spacing of all your letters, I'm just gonna take my tacky pad and just place that over the top and just push down. So that has just picked up all my letters and just made this nice stamp that I can push against my cake just to imprint the letters. And these are just gonna emboss in into the icing so that we can fill these in with some edible paint. So for the 2019, I'm just gonna take my mini message letters and just cut out the numbers for 2019. And then I'm just gonna take my slider and just push those on backwards on the plaque at the moment, but I can just use this to push into the cake. Okay, so I've got my cake. And one thing to remember is you want to do this quite soon after covering your cake just because you don't want it to have set too hard that you can't push your letters in. So I've got my sweet stamp letters here which we've laid out on the tacky mat minus the duplicates and I'm just going to push this against the cake and I'm going to use one of my flat paddles against the back just to push in so I don't get any finger marks and I'm going to go ahead and put those duplicate letters in. I'm then just going to go in with the numbers so we've got the 2019 and I'm just going to stamp this at the bottom so as you can see we've got happy new year 2019 so i'm now just going to fill in the letters just to make these stand out more and to do this i'm going to use the royal gold edible luster dust by sugar flare and combine this with the sugar flare rejuvenate spirit now all this is going to do is just turn the gold luster dust into a paint i'm then going to take the smaller brush from the sweet stamp brush duo and i'm just going to go ahead and fill in the the inside of those letters. Okay, so there we have the first H and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in all of my letters. on the front of the cake and I'm just going to go in with a very tiny tiny brush into the 2019 and just highlight those numbers. So for the board that the cake is going to go onto, I've just got an 11 inch drum board here so this one is just a centimeter in height. So I'm just going to roll out my icing and then using water I'm just going to brush this over the board just to make the icing stick. I'm then going to lay this down and trim any excess off with my pizza cutter and finish it off with some black satin ribbon just around the edge. 
Okay, so in order to create the sketch style landmarks that are gonna go around the edge of the cake, I've just got this template where I've just added some outlines of the buildings. So we've just got the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the Sydney Opera House, the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur, the Burj Al Arab in Dubai. I've then got the Statue of Liberty in New York and a Big Ben for London. I've also just got some templates of some fireworks. Now with some of these, so with Tower in Dubai, with the Statue of Liberty and with the Sydney Opera House, I've just flipped the image over. So this is actually a mirror image just because we're gonna use that to create the template. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just cut out all of these shapes. Now on each of the images, I've just added a border of around three to four millimeters just around the edge. Okay, so once I've got all my template images cut out, I'm just gonna put the fireworks to one side. Now I've also got some white gum paste, some parchment paper, and an edible black food pen. So on one end, we just have a fine liner, and on the other end, you've got the felt tip pen end. I've then got my rolling pin and my craft knife. So all I'm gonna do to start with is just roll out some of our gum paste to around three to four millimeters in thickness. I'm just gonna flip this this one over and I'm just gonna cut that out. Once the shape has been cut out, I'm just gonna leave that to the side and just bring back in my picture. I'm just gonna tape this down slightly just to keep it still. And I'm just gonna take a piece of that parchment paper to fit over the top. Now using the fine end of my edible pen, I'm just gonna go in and draw over all of those lines. Now, the reason that I'm using parchment paper to do this is just because the edible ink doesn't dry very fast. So we can push our gum paste plaque on top of this and just get an imprint, lay that on top of my template and just push down slightly. Now, when you pull this up, I don't know if you can see, but you will have this really faint outline. So I'm now just gonna use the thicker end. I'm just gonna go in over the top and just trace over all those lines. Now, this is just a great way to do it if you're not very confident on drawing freehand. So there we have the Sydney Opera House. Now, I'm just gonna put this to one side for our gum paste to dry, and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with all of our templates. the landmarks that we're going to be using drawn out. So I'm just going to put these to one side just so that that gum paste can dry out so that we can stand these up. So the next thing that I'm going to do is work on my fireworks. Okay so for the fireworks I'm going to be adding some onto the actual cake and also creating some cake toppers to slot onto the top. So I've just got the three templates that I've drawn here and you can either do exactly the same thing as we did before with the parchment paper or or you can paint these straight onto your gum paste. So all I've got is some round cookie cutters for the cake toppers, and these just slot over the top of those designs. So I'm gonna cut three of these out of the gum paste and also push in some cocktail sticks so that we can attach these to the top of the cake. I've then got some star plunger cutters, which I'm just gonna be using to add little stars into the fireworks. Okay, so for all my fireworks I'm just gonna do exactly the same and create a little stamp to use as a guide and just push that over the top now for some of these fireworks I'm actually gonna use the same gold luster dust and rejuvenating spirit that I used on the front of the cake and then just gonna use some edible glue and just pop some stars onto that firework. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly the same with the other two. So the last thing that I'm gonna do before I put the cake together is just to create some of these firework designs on the top edge of the cake, just so they look like they're exploding behind our landmarks. So I'm gonna use the smallness of my template and just do it exactly the same as I did before. So just transfer the design onto my parchment paper. Place this gate in my cake and push on that just so we get a rough outline. I can then go in with my pen. 
Now, once I've filled in this firework, I'm just gonna add some stars onto it as we did with the cake toppers. So with the firework design, we're just making it look like it's floating from the center. So once that first firework has been added in, I'm just gonna add a couple more. my fireworks have been added I'm then just going to go in with my pen and just add some little dots to those fireworks just to look like Uncle Mark so I'm just adding little clusters so here we have the fireworks on the top of the cake so the only thing left now is to put it all together Okay, so to glue all the elements to the cake and also pop the cake onto the board, I've just got some royal icing, which I've just popped into a piping bag. So I'm just going to start by popping some of that royal icing in the center of the board that we covered and transfer over the cake. Just to neaten up the bottom edge, I'm then just gonna wrap a thin white ribbon just around the bottom. I'm then gonna take the three firework cake toppers that we created and push these into the top of the cake. Now for the fun part, we are ready to add the buildings to this cake. So I'm gonna add the Sydney Opera House to the front of the cake just because it's a lot smaller and we'll be able to see the Happy New Year above it. So to add that on, I'm just gonna take some of that royal icing and just add that bottom and then just gonna pop that in the right place and then gonna add some of my taller buildings to the back now I'm also gonna add a tiny bit of the royal icing just against that side to hold that in place now while I'm waiting just for that royal icing to dry I'm just gonna take a small ball of icing and just pop that behind pieces just to hold them in place until that royal icing has hardened I'm then gonna add in my Eiffel Tower so next I'm gonna add Big Ben and last but not least Statue of Liberty so once all the fireworks and the buildings have all been added here we have the finished new year cake so as you can see we've got the fireworks on the top and then you've also got the fireworks between the buildings on the side this video and we'll be able to use some of the techniques in your own cakes if you have enjoyed the video then don't forget to give it a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this in 2019 then don't forget to subscribe to the channel you can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time a new video is uploaded I'll also put a link in the description below to all the templates that I've used today and a link to the sweet stamps that we used on the front of the cake you can also follow me on social media and I'll put all the links below. So the only thing left for me to do is to wish you all a happy 2019. Bye!